What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. My name is Chris. That's Mike. We're talking yes, Westworld. Yes, sir. What yes, Westworld. Dude. Episode four. Mother, Mother of, of Exiles. Exiles. Um, hey, man. So this yes. is this was a really, really good episode, and I'm more confused than ever now. I'm more confused I'm, than I have I'm, been dude, the, like... the entire time. <laughs> Some people are probably like watching the videos and like dude you guys don't remember what happened in season one or season like I i'm don't. just like it's... not there like i, I, I mean I... we should have just rewatched the entire series but okay so here, yeah. here's the thing big things we, we found out time we could watch the I, I maybe know. i'll maybe i'll try to do that maybe I'll yeah try but to you'd watch have to go back and watch show. like because a lot of stuff or I'll watch, maybe we'll watch our old stuff I maybe we can get like a too. make those memories back. I don't know. I don't know because there's like a lot of questions after watching yeah. this. I mean, I've really enjoyed this season so far, especially yeah, since yeah. we're in the real world and the technology is so so cool. Like yeah, every episode, yeah. there's like new, there's new um, features or new tech that we're getting to see, and and it is a real crazy picture of what we can be dealing with in 35 years or whatever it is. Yeah from from here and it's kind of scary in a way but it's really just a really cool show you know what's so. gonna suck bro before we actually jump into anything is that we're gonna be like old men like we're gonna yeah. be like i mean we're old now but like we're gonna be like really old men and i don't <laughs> think that we're gonna get to enjoy the stuff that's gonna be Maybe. Maybe. happening you know what i mean like we'll i mean we'll be there i mean we'll experience it but i just don't think like our, our bodies are gonna be all old we won't be able to do a lot of cool virtual reality stuff and i don't know well, who man. knows who knows what kind of we can have like we have, ex, yeah, we have exosuits suits or, or something hell yeah yeah that make us fuck, run and... <laughs> dude after my job as a mailman i'm gonna need that thing i'm gonna be yeah. shot dude yeah. anyway all right so we learned a lot of stuff in this episode one very big thing being that oh who's in these all these bodies who's oh, who's the host it's the Lars. Man. It's Dolores. It's all Dolores. Yeah. Obviously, it's yeah. all Dolores because she's you. You want to get something right? She, Masashi says you want to do something right. Get do it yourself or whatever, right? Yeah. Uh, so she's in uh, Musashi. She's in Connell's. She's in Hell. Who else is she in? We have no idea. We we have a bunch of questions. It's a lot of yeah. stuff to get to. I have a couple of thoughts as well. Um, additionally to what our questions are. But let's just jump into the question. Mark C wants to know, is, Del yeah. is Dolores and Bernardo sharing a consciousness with them? Um, I just, real quick, I'll just jump on this and say, I do not think that she is. One, I don't think she's sharing a consciousness because she would have probably known where he was and he was coming. Connell seemed to be like, Connell was like, oh, their friends are here early or whatever. Like he was like, oh, your friends are here. So he knew that, so that, that would mean that she doesn't know what his moves are, right? Because if they were sharing a consciousness, they would know. It's kind of like Harry Potter and Voldemort. Um, mm. uh, and then, so that would mean that she did that. No. So I, Mike and I were talking about this off camera. I think what happened was didn't Dolores make Bernard to make Bernard put her in her old body. <laughs> yeah. Because he never, <laughs> because she never did that. So yeah. she, and then, and then they made the other clones, but, and then they got the Yakuza to move bodies around. Like, Oh my God. So so no so I don't I don't think that that yeah I don't think that that he yeah I don't a, think yeah. I don't think either I don't think either I think that would just give away the plan right off the bat um it's cool to see it's I mean there was a lot of cool scenes it, it, I'm I'm surprised that they got to each other so quickly too I love it that it means wasn't lots like to come yeah it wasn't like multiple episodes until they finally meet each other and fight we see the Stubbs Dolores fight which was really Fantastic, cool Fantastic, yeah yeah so fun um, just fun yeah, I don't I don't necessarily think that Bernard has anything to um, to do with uh, Dolores yeah with Dolores or sharing any kind of conscious with him no I don't think so uh, um, what about uh, you know Marxy also has another question as well as a bunch of other people what we're all thinking you know yeah. is William a host. I mean, see, this is why I really, I really did want to go back and say at least the finale of season two because weren't we left in like sh the 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 um, Westworld? The what was it? What was the building called? Like where the forge, right? Wasn't the forge, the forge yeah. right? But that wasn't and where they was, were doing. That wasn't where he was testing Delos, though. No, but remember, he was in the room. He with was his in the daughter. room that Delos that they, they, yeah, or whatever. Yeah, they so. Okay. So it was like, and, and it was like after everything happened. So like, wasn't like the like the place like all destroyed and just dis yeah, like yes. So it's like, was he sitting? Was he staying there? Was he battling the fact that he killed his daughter because he thought she was a host, and and that's why he's having these visions in this episode, or, or you know, what kind of person could just stay in this 
destroyed area. I don't, I don't know. Is it a simulation? Uh, it's it's crazy. I'm going to tell you this much real quick. Yeah. We know things to us, to the viewer. We know things are a simulation when they put the black bars on the screen. And that happened earlier that happened earlier in the episode. Okay? We saw that. Um so whenever there's black bars on the screen, that's a simulation. And Nolan and uh Lisa Joy, the creators said that that when okay. we see that, that means that's the simulation. We can be sure that that's a simulation. Well, when, when, when was the scene in? Was that the uh, the original scene with that him was the and house. his daughter? That was no, 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 no. That was when um, she was showing. So I believe Sirak was showing the house. Remember, and he was right. He was like, "Oh, this is that house or whatever." No, what? Yeah, it was early on in the but episode. Dolores was walking in the house. Do yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. But who is who is she talking to? Oh my god, I, my brain is so full of all the other stuff that happened in the episode. Right. <laughs> all I know is that I wrote down when we see when we see that that that's it that that's what the black bars okay. means that we're seeing that. So I'm I don't I'm, oh, sorry guys I don't remember because there's so much that happened this episode. Um, you know, but that leads to you know as far as like so is he a host? I I was I was like yes he's a host. But yeah. now, but now you bring it up another point where it's like, but then he's missing his fingers. Yeah. So why would the unless that's the, unless unless he was a host all along? I mean, damn it! I don't. Oh, you know, I thought I had crazy. the answer. I thought I was. My answer was yes, he's a host. He's absolutely a host. But then, you know, why did he? Why did Charlotte prick him? Which is a question we also have from the community, from Natsy yeah. and, and a bunch of other people. Yeah. Why did? Why did Charlotte prick him? At this point, I don't know, man. I thought I thought well, I had we see Char I mean, we see Charlotte's agenda, and they talk about how um, now that he's he's considered. So they're gonna put him. They put yeah. They put him in a institutionalized. Or, um, why would you do that if he's not human? Because if it's just well, a host, like why would Dolores yeah. do that? And what if does he was she a host, and if he was a host, he, there's a way that Dolores can maybe override him, and he can just be another asset. Well, the other the thing too is so thing. the whole the whole scheme was that. He's gonna he's gonna give over gonna the, the give company. Over it yeah, he, they're yeah. gonna get him as right incompetent or or or, or what, well, I forget the word, but you know, um, yeah. So that's part of her plan. Great. Okay. Fine. Um, yeah, man. <sighs> maybe maybe she can make you know. This is I mean we talked about this a little bit, but maybe they can use that blood to make uh, make a clone of him. A clone of him, but, but then but, why but would why they make do a clone that? If they're gonna yeah, publicly put know. him inside of a place. Yeah. I thought, I mean, I thought it was like, all right, well, he is a host. He's seeing these things. He's like glitches or maybe it's not. Maybe it's just his, his consciousness. Well, he could get, they could get information from the blood. We saw that in this. Okay. So we did see that. We did see that there's markers like. So maybe um, there's something, the some information that yeah. he has. Uh, maybe. Because he is the one that sold information to Sirach 20 years previous. Right. right? So maybe there's something encoded uh, something special about William's blood that um, Charlotte or Dolores, I would say, um, knew of and can take. And that's yeah. why she did that. So maybe, he, I mean, I'm going to just say, screw it. I'm not going to go crazy and beat myself up over this. I'm going to say that he's real. He's real. You know? yeah. okay. And he's having these crazy scenes. Remember thinking, you know, feeling the guilt of his daughter. And those were some crazy scenes, too. I mean, yeah, when I like she was screaming in front of him and the blood was just pouring from her. And so, yeah, I mean, I like that. Yeah, completely I wrong. But, um, um, you know, uh, yeah, I. I... <laughs> I, it was it was really the video interesting. Was just gonna be filled the, the, with a bunch of like what? the Wait, whole back the whole back end was so fun. It was just really really yeah. cool. Maeve got a power back, dude. Yeah, that's sick. And 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 Sirac is real. I thought he was maybe it was maybe a simulation, and then realizing that simulation probably would have black bars over it, but he's able to control her. Yet she has her powers back, which is really well, they're cool. able to virtually react like virtually materialize their image well now they you know? yeah yeah we see yeah all that and that's probably yeah. what we i mean we, and that's how we've seen Sirac. you, you know so far another thing yeah another thing i realized is that th that machine okay so that sh that screen with the with the with the black circle and it shows us it gives us like dates like, and well, time yeah yeah i think that is that machine 
I, that's how it stores all the information. Right. I think it's that machine is cataloging everything that's happening in this war, in this battle, in this thing. It, we may even be seeing the past, dude. This yeah. season may end like even like even in years after. Yeah. That's a good we theory. We don't know idea, and yeah. because they've introduced this thing. He said that he wants, Sorak said he wanted to create, he wanted to battle the whole system by creating this human experience or whatever, right? But they yeah. beat him to it and they did it at a freaking amusement park, yeah. you know? So he was like, well, that was what I was doing. I was doing that. And so that's yeah. what this is. So anyway, so I think that's, I don't know where it's going. I don't know, my, again, that's just a theory, but I think that the uh, what we're seeing with that ring that that is that machine cataloging these instances, keeping track of everybody. So that makes sense. I mean, um, it makes sense. Yeah. So, all right. So another question from Nat um, from the Facebook group. What does Dolores want with Caleb? This is another question that we've been getting a lot too. Uh, what do you think she wants with him? I have a theory about this. I think he kind of fell into her lap initially. I don't think it was a plan of hers. I mean, listen, it was it was just by circumstance that they happened to bump into each other. It's not like... Uh, I, I personally don't think that she knew Caleb was going to be there or that he was logged into this Grand Theft Auto app online and he was going to be there when she's struggling and coming down this um, and she's leaning up against the wall and stuff mm -hmm. and collapses in his arms. I don't necessarily think that was a plan of Dolores. I just think that after now being meeting him and and him going with her into the ambulance and all this kind of thing, they kind of just it just happened. Right, she and can use she, him, right, and now she knows that she can use now, him. You know, and... Yeah, she can use him. She showed him all this information about his past. He, she tells him about uh, the, the the way the the, Ro, the Rohobum, or whatever the hell it's called, works and how the system works and how you're destined for whatever really they institute of you. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, I think it was really just merely by chance, but then she notices what kind of person and maybe what potential he has. Uh, inside of him and he can be an asset you know and and we saw another we saw another um instance where where they compare themselves to each other again when they were wearing the masks and stuff mm -hmm. and um i forgot the exact quote which what what dolores says to him but it's just another it's another um some some dialogue some script that just tells you how close uh, the hosts are compared to these humans in this world now. So I always thought that was kind of cool. Yeah. Especially within, we've seen it the last two episodes. So Yeah. I think I'm going to throw out, I'm going to kind of go against the grain there with that and say that I think she did know. Um, I okay. think Caleb is, isn't just a coincidence. I think there is, I think she did. Because if you look at the coming attractions for the next episode, unless it's just the way they edited it to me it seemed like there was something else i don't know the connection but i think there's a connection somehow okay. and i don't know what it is but i think caleb isn't just a happy accident or whatever and i don't know like you mentioned that the, the you know, so, the so you're app. you're comparing caleb to one of bob ross's sayings um there's no happy accidents right just correct yeah. <laughs> I think, yeah, I think, yeah. So we'll find out, hopefully. It looks like next episode. So I think I think there was a connection there. Um, yeah. Another thing, I, uh, another thing I just wanted to bring up was how come Maeve couldn't control Musashi? She didn't even try. She knew that he was the well, host. Dolores, oh, yeah, but Dolores is Dolores is also, uh, also has that power, but so not Dolores, Dolores in that strong. body. Yeah, Damn. and right. Dolores technically fought her. Yeah, true. And Maeve is dead on the ground. Well, Maeve is dead, but Sorak has, Sorak's got plenty of, he's got copies of her his consciousness. He's got her body. Yeah. He made her body. It's fine. He has a way of control. It's fine. The other thing that Sorak says is that the world where Dolores sent everyone, she has in her head. She has like the code for it in her head. Yeah. So she has yeah, the right. key to, to do that, which is yeah. what's motivating Maeve, which is fine. You know, it, it is. Yeah, you know. he has the key. Yeah, she has the key to all the data and Dolores still has the key to open the sublime. Yeah. yeah. Um. Uh. Another another question that we got uh, from that and other people is: uh, Is there a limit from? Is there a limit to the clones? Um. Digitally, probably not. Is probably not a limit. I think the only limitations would be the the host body that it gets put in, that the the pearl or whatever would get put in, because and having a machine that can make the pearl. I don't. You know. Uh. True. Yeah. So physically. 
physical copies would be the only limits to that. As far as the data, no, nah, I mean, data is data. You can copy it as much as you want without any degradation. Yeah. Degradation. Um, but yeah, so you're right. Yeah, anything, any physical medium would be the only limitation. But hey, man, if they can create a body, they can create a pearl. So. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I, uh, I mean, the thing is, the thing is, I don't necessarily think there is a limit also. Um, it's just, wouldn't you think that if she has the, wouldn't you think that Dolores would just be pumping out? She'd just be sitting in a room. She wouldn't be going out, you know, she'd just be building an army. No. If she could. No, she's playing, she's, it's more strategic than that. And plus, where's the fun in that? Like, it's fun to watch her out, go out and, you know, yeah. beat up on stubs. Yeah. Um, the thing is, is <laughs> I think, um, yeah, and, and, and another question we've been getting is who who's the other host? Because that's not all of the hosts. So I think there was five. All, pearls, I'm sorry, right? not all of the pearls. So who else does she right. have? Maybe she maybe she didn't put in another host. I, I actually have no idea. And and it's mm -hmm. kind of rack I'm kinda hurting my brain even just like trying to figure all this stuff out. I'm 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 kinda like slowly realizing that the, this season is kind of just like fun to just like it's great to watch, it's great to talk about, but I think it's I think it's it's a little I think it's a little easier right now, Mikey, at this point to be a little reactive than than proactive on it. You know, like let's yeah. react to what we've seen as opposed to because I can't guess anymore, dude. You know, I, I know, can't stop. I mean, you know, why does she that, still need that, Liam alive? She took all this money. Why yeah. does she still need Liam alive? Like why? Mm -hmm. You know, what is what was the point of Connell's? Did, did Dolores want Connell's to tell Bernard? You know, like what's the point? Is she just playing this really fun long game? But she, and what's with that? In the coming attractions, we see her motorcycle drive by in flames. It was awesome. I'm like, what's going to happen with that thing? I love that bike. It's so fun. Yeah. But you know what I mean? It's yeah. just like, it's so crazy. And it's like, things about to get crazy. You know, Maeve's not dead. Why, you know, is is he really a host, William? Is he not? I was like, he's definitely a host. Then I'm like, wait, I don't think he's a host. I don't fucking know, man. Like, it's so, but it's just fun. It's such a, it's so it dope. Fun. I just love it a lot, <laughs> you know? Yeah. It's a but anyway, it's a, I mean, listen, it's a great show. So for people that aren't watching or for fans that are watching even us or, or fans that are watching the show or people that are a part of our, our Facebook group, the Westworld group, you know, tell your friends, especially since we have some time here, stay inside yep. and binge Westworld. And uh, it's a great show. It's a fun show. And for anyone else that um, said that they thought the show this season was dumbed down. I mean, just watch this episode of right. our show because we have really, I'm sorry, we don't really have the best answers to, to your questions because we're dealing with it the same way you are. Your questions are our questions. We're having these same um, yeah. problems, you know, and these same questions that we want to, we want to get figured out. So, um, I enjoy doing these Q and A's. We appreciate everybody that puts their questions in. We appreciate yeah, Nat, some of the others, and uh, Mark uh, from the Facebook group. So that's really cool. I also want to thank uh, real quick. I want to thank. Uh, I want to thank John. Uh, you know, thank you for posting. John beats us to posting some of some really cool stuff yeah. like this week's. Um, I wrote down. I had a note that said, "What song is that that they that they were playing?" And it's um, yeah, it's a Wicked Game, I think, by the weekend or whatever, right? Yeah. So I was yeah. like, "Oh man," because you knew, like you you know right away, like they're playing a cover of something. So thank you, John. For yeah, they always there. they always have really cool. Soundtracks, I really enjoy like, them. Yeah. But, so again, John, yeah. thank you for doing that. We appreciate that. Um, yeah, and get those questions in, John, too. Uh, I don't think we got one from you this week, so I know that you post a lot of cool stuff, but it would be cool for you to put yeah, some questions in there too. There. Post. So get those questions in, John, too. Um, check us out at Third Person on all the social media outlets, of course. We always like to post. Uh, I mean, we'll always post beforehand uh, to get the questions in. You can just write in the comment section uh, below that. Write in the comment section below here if you have even more any more questions. We'll try to get to them on YouTube. And again, everybody, we know what's going on. You know, binge, binge shows. Everybody's trying to stay inside, hopefully. Um, and uh, just stay safe. That's right. Yeah, exactly. Everything Mike said. So uh, till next time, enjoy whatever the heck it is you're doing. Be safe and uh, we'll see you next <laughs> video. All right. Peace. Peace.